Hey guys, meet Blisswood VW VT1 Mini Smart Projector with Tripod. It is a 480p DLP projector with Android 9 built in. Powered by 4000M battery for 1.5 hours video playback. Loaded with 200 ANSI lumens, 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, 40,000 LED line life, and a 3 watt speaker. Come with a useful electronic 4D keystone correction too. Alright, let's have a closer look at it. Excellent build quality with metal frame housing. Stylish in design as well. The top and bottom are loaded with glossy surface while having made ones for sides. Compact in size and weight less than 1kg. Portable and easy to carry around during traveling. There are main lens and hissing in front of the projector. The power button air intake vent and manual focus adjustment ring are located on the right. USB 3, USB 2 ports, headphone jack output, IR receiver, HDMI port, LED status light and DC input at the back. Another air intake vent on the left. Backlight lit touchable navigation buttons are located on the top. Four tiny anti-skip pads a standard camera mount hole and a fan can be found at the bottom. Here are the included accessory. First of all, the IR remote control for navigation. For video input, there are the usual HDMI cable, followed by a power adapter with U plug, worldwide support with 100 to 240 volt, the useful mini tripod with a rotatable head, suitable to use on the table. Support info card for just in case. Finally, user manual in multiple languages. As usual, take your time to go through it. VT1 supports screen size from as small as 2 inch to as large as 300 inch. Suitable for both day and night. As usual, the smaller the screen, the brighter you will get. 30 inch is the best during the day. You can go up to 120 inch in a totally dark room. Brightness is enough, but the resolution is not. For the best experience, keep it below 80 inch. Else, you will need to sit far from it. Let's have a look at the HDMI performance first. Everything looks great out of the box. Yes, no calibration is needed. Super vivid with 120% NTSC color gamut. Uniform brightness with TLP projection technology, unlike budget LCD one. Text performance is decent. You can present PowerPoint to your group member during the work. Good enough for daylight usage as long as below 40 inch screen size. For extreme tests, VT1 is performing decently too. Corners are sharp and in focus. However, for ATP resolution is too low to perform well on smaller text. All three main refresh rates are supported through HDMI. Both 24Hz and 50Hz video playback is great and smooth. 60Hz is the best with perfectly smooth playback. Great for fast page action video indeed. Alright, check out this 24P video. VT1 is performing very well on both highlight and shadows. Excellent contrast and vivid colors thanks to the LP technology.
ultra smooth 60 hertz playback is what you get. Is this 4K 60 frame per second video performing well? You tell me. Fifty Hertz is performing great. You can watch all your Chinese TV drama directly from VT1 anytime, anywhere. VT1 performs very well in the input lag test. FYI, this video clip is 5x lower than the usual one. You won't notice input lag on actual gameplay. As usual, Pingball is used to test game projector gaming ability. You can see its smoothness by the ball movement. Other types of games are performing well too. As usual, the sound is coming out from the internal speaker. That's all for HDMI port performance. Let's check out Android 9 OS now. And this is the default launcher with quick access to YouTube, Netflix, Google Play, screen mirroring, and so on. And here are all the pre-installed applications except for Kodi, which I install myself. As usual, just go through Google Play Store and download the applications and games that you want will do. Three types of screen mirroring, AirPlay, eShare, and Wi-Fi display. Just pick the one that suits your need. Will do. Netflix is not Android TV version, so Air Mouse is preferred for navigation. As for YouTube, it is working perfectly fine. A lot of settings can be set. You have the usual Wi-Fi and hotspot setting. Common stuff for Bluetooth setting as well. For languages, there are a lot since it is an Android system. Just pick one for you. Access to each one of the application setting. Factory reset when needed. And turn on USB debugging mode in developer setting. Even more stuff in projection setting. You can adjust the fan speed. Level 3 is the default. Change the projector mode that you prefer.
auto horizontal keystone is supported or just adjust them manually four way is supported then as usual direct projection give the best image quality brightness can be adjusted too but do keep it max unless you want to save battery life three color temperatures standard cool and warm i'm using warm for this review by the way just volume control in audio setting nothing special here the usual date and time settings lastly here is all the projector information that you might want to know good enough for casual usage support both local and online firmware upgrade this is the latest firmware for the moment okay here is video playback performance on android basically it is about the same as hdmi mode smooth and decent playback on both 24 hertz and 50 hertz and perfectly smooth on 60 hertz yes it can play 15 40p 60 frames per second youtube video smoothly 4k is not possible however and it can last for 1.5 hours on video playback with max brightness setting furthermore it is loaded with hdr video decoding support too enjoy even more vivid colors with high dynamic range you can use kodi or any other media player to play usb contents it's an android projector after all share all your precious photos with friends and family members easily too the built-in 3 watt speaker is okay only. Do connect external speakers for fuller sound. Lastly, fan noise level is excellent. You won't notice it at all unless very close to it. The wireless connection is stable, but speed is average. You can get around 35 Mac on 2.4 gig band, same performance on 5 gig band too. Thankfully, Bluetooth connection is fast and stable. Wireless casting is working properly, fast and smooth. However, I do face hang issue sometimes. Maybe phone compatibility issue. As for gaming, it is okay for casual games. Don't expect much from the built-in GPU. Do use your own game console like Nintendo Switch. 60Hz is perfect for it. The best part of a battery power projector. You can enjoy entertainment anywhere you like or present PowerPoint when you are working outside. Just put it on the table and start the projection will do. Keystone adjustment is very handy in this case. Well, that's all for Blisswood VW VT1 Mini Smart Projector Review. A solid budget DRP projector with Android 4 on the go. Great for both home and office. By the way, do check out my top projector chart too. You might find the one that suits your needs. And please use my referral link to shop to support my effort. Don't forget to thumb up too. Thanks. I'm Jace. Glad to see you around. Peace.